Dear all, welcome to the playlist of demand side management. In this video, I'll be discussing important tariff used in demand side management. You know what is tariff? You know the cost per unit charged by the supplying company to the customer or consumer that is known as tariff. In power generation and economics, you must have studied about different type of tariff such as, such as fixed tariff, then two part tariff, block rate tariff, flat rate tariff etc. But as far as demand side management concerned, we need to familiar the new type of tariff such as time of day tariff, it is also known as TOD tariff, then seasonal rate tariff and uh, third one is curtailable or interruptible rate tariff, it is also known as CA rate tariff. These are the three type of tariff which is used in demand side management. Before explaining we will understand the importance of tariff. See, the tariff structure should be efficient use of resources. That is right. And also, in order to achieve the effective tariff, customer should receive the correct information about the cost involving in delivering of power. I mean, they should have a good idea about what is the cost per unit. That should have a better, in, better uh, information to the customer. Then only the tariff will be successful. And also one more thing I wanted to tell you that tariff uh, that should balance between supply and demand. Okay. Finally, proper tariff should apply to improve the load factor. So if tariff is improved in parallel, load factor also should be improved. For proper tariff structure can itself will be supporting for peak clipping and valley filling. That is the dif dif different demand side management technique. It can able to improve the service to the customer of course the low shedding may not be required okay so we can able to achieve demand side management if those tariff will be implemented effectively let us have a brief discussion on these three type of tariff what do you mean by time of day tariff you know the cost of electricity varies with respect to time if you consume electricity during peak hours you are you are charged more like uh, with the help of TOD meter, you can able to identify. TOD rate makes the electricity cost more expensive during peak hours rather than off-peak hours. Ele cost of electricity is very much cheap during off-peak hours. And also, it encourages the usage of electricity during off-peak hours in spite of using peak hours. And uh, we can able to say that at that time, customer will be obviously shifting the load from peak hours to off peak hours to save the cost here TOD meter regarding the supply company side TOD meter has to be installed in the customer premises that is little bit expensive however this technique will be very much effective provided customer should know about what is peak hours and what is off peak hours some awareness need to be given second one is known as seasonal rate tariff in this seasonal rate tariff the rate changes across the season. Suppose during monsoon time, we can able to say that cost of electricity is less, very less because uh, there are lot of rainfall, the, it is easy to produce electricity and there is no scarcity of water. On the opposite side, during summer season, there are scarcity, there are lot of scarcity of electricity at that time, cost of electricity will be high. So based on that, you can able to charge, supply company can charge the cost of electricity. So you can divide, you can provide the data to the customer that so and so month is too critical if you are using more electricity. Likewise you can give some awareness as a part of supply company. No need for separate TOD meter, time of day metering in this method. That is called a seasonal tariff. Let us see what is curtailable or interruptible rate tariff. In this type of tariff, the main importance is given for the customer demand. Suppose if the customer who reduce the demand as per uh, to the predetermined level, obviously the cost of electricity comes down. That is known as curtailable or interruptible rate. Okay, so there is a demand, a predetermined demand, maximum demand in terms of kilowatts. Suppose the customer reduces, customer has come down that particular demand. Obviously the cost is also will be reduced per unit. The CA rates are suitable only for the industrial and uh, commercial customers. That is important. 
it's applicable it's not suitable for uh, the domestic customers that's true because it's applicable only for uh, industrial bulk bulk cons consumers not for the light load consumers domestic consumers and uh, proper communication that is very essential reliable communication is very essential for this type of tariff in this video we have studied what do you mean by tariff which is applicable for demand side management it is not like a conventional tariff like a block rate and flat rate tariff but this is actually called a demand tariff and demand side management there are three type of tariff we have discussed such as time of day tariff seasonal rate tariff and the curtailable or interruptible rate tariff and also we have gone through the importance of tariff how this tariff option help for improving the demand side management tactic so this will be one of the important discussion in the area of demand side management let me know if you are having any queries finally thank you for watching this video